Welcome back YouTube channel. <clears throat> this is the Belmont Hold Weapon Part 3. And what you see before you is a big fucking whip. This beauty right here, well, this was bought several months prior off of Amazon and it's a uh, 12 foot bull whip. I haven't had a chance to break it in yet, but looking forward to it. This is my latest SOG knife. Also bought, well, several months back. SOG Ace. And a companion piece. Nice little Gerber knife picked up from my local Rural King. Nice little sheath to go with it. And an assortment of other items, which we'll get to in just a moment. Continuing on, we got some lovely items right here. In particular, this emergency thermal blanket, this hand crank flashlight, a Container for whistle, waterproof matches, and the ability to tell temperature if you don't have a cell phone on you or such modern conveniences in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And a lovely ferrocinium rod and a uh, pocket razor. This came out of a set of a uh, survival kit, which you've seen the book before on this channel. It was $10. Not a bad little set, if you ask me. Here's some emergency ponchos, because, hey, without weapons, you don't have equipment. And this is for prepping. Here's a lovely magnesium bar that I've had for a few years. Nice. It uh, came from Walmart, actually. Here's something as a can opener most people don't really see these days. This is the bigger design of the P38 can opener. The P38 can opener originally was also called the John Wayne. It was used because to open up sea rations or cold rations back during the war, it took only 38 turns. And I have two of these, but I'm only showing you one now. It it's come in handy for me in the past, and I'm not liable to lose it anytime soon. This is a recent purchase, our last trip to the Walmart. And the only reason why it was purchased is because my significant other needed a, well, a little clip off of it. So, we have a nice handy bottle opener. This, I'm sure some of you viewers have seen before. This is also a key. However, this is a water key. Or a plumber's key. This is good for 
water spigots there outside on commercial buildings, banks, libraries, hell, even Walmart. This allows you to access the water spigot that is on the side of a building and lets you get clean, drinkable water. I picked this up in my local Lowe's for $10. You can, however, find them online on Amazon. The two-pack for uh, $12. I've taken the liberty of making its uh, own carry handle. Yes, very DIY, isn't it? Twist ties and a key ring. Carrying on, have some more equipment. You know, this is coming out of a uh, small survival pack, which you'll see at the end of the video. And, uh, some hot hands, hand warmers. You know, this contains um, iron oxide, which reacts to water and heats up. This actually keeps your hands very warm. UST. 550 paracord. Now, there's a lot of so-called survivalists out there who will bitch and moan about saying, well, it has to be 550 paracord, otherwise it's not good paracord. What makes a paracord the resilience is supposed to be 550 pound test if it's 550. And it's under feet, 30 meters. Now I picked this up a while back. Stick matches. Plain ordinary stick matches. Never know when you need them. I like stick matches. They're good. They're old fashioned. They have a durability. And they just look plain cool if you use them. Lighten up a cigarette, lighten up a cigar, or just lighten a fire. Lava soap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are people on there who might say, well, yeah, you're dirty, Belmont. Hmm. Well, who else isn't dirty out there? But... I like to stock up on lava soap because, well, one, it's made by the WD-40 company. It's pumice soap, which means it pretty much gets out everything. You can also use this, if you powder it down, you can use this and uh, make your own laundry soap. So this has a multitude of uses. Picked up a nice double-sided sharpening stone from my local Dollar Tree a while back. It's only a dollar, and it's tool bench hardware, so it's a Dollar Tree brand of tools. And for a buck, I don't think you can really go wrong with a big-ass sharpening stone. This, however, is what I really like. Yeah, laser sight. I have two of them. And yes, you can put them on airsoft, but fits to all pistols, shotguns, and rifles, or tactical rails. Or, you can adhere it to any other object. And finishing up, we have a 
a little cheap pair of 20 by 50 spy glasses or binoculars, whichever style you want to call them. And, you know, with all these knives, it never hurts to have a sharpening rod for uh, keeping them tuned in. Goggles. What can I say about these? Well, you could say that, hey, I might slip these on with a uh, dust mask to clean house, or just uh, clean up the uh, garbage in uh, my enemies if they come a-knockin'. I've got some nice Uncle Mike's shooting gloves. These have been with me for, ooh, 20 years. And that's pure good leather. Got another nice pair of leather gloves here. And I've had these since... 2009, so a decade. Good, reliable. And a nice pair of uh, cut resistant Kevlar gloves. Because, hey, DuPont Kevlar. Cut resistant. Make sense? Another nice sharpening stone. This one's a little more beat up and rustic looking, but still serves a purpose. Looks like I've taken it for a ride for a while, hasn't it? And, well, hey. Can't have all those swords without some ammo. 12 gauge shotgun bandolier for the side. A shotgun ammo belt. And a uh, bandolier sling. I do so like this. This is what I would consider my apocalypse gear for all the zombies, looters, and marauders who uh, I'm definitely going to have in my sights if uh, they come a trespassing. Definitely looking forward to some trigger time. Oh, and uh, not shown on camera. 300 rounds, 12 gauge, Remington, two and three quarter. Good target loads. Slightly modified. Modified with what? Well, you probably don't want to know because uh, if someone intrudes on my property, I'll be on the receiving end of that shell. Finally, a bug out pack. This came off of Amazon. Not a bad little piece of equipment either. It holds all the stuff you've seen so far in this video, and that's where it's all going back to. So, I hope that the viewers who are still here have enjoyed this video for the allies I've lost that can't be helped sorry to see you go sorry that we uh, couldn't agree you'll be remembered you'll be missed <laughs>